guys. Hello. <laughs> I'm Hi. with Hold On Hollywood here. Introduce yourselves. I'm Ian. What do you do? And I've <laughs> I what are you doing, Ian? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm the same. I'm Nick, and I'm the guitar player. I'm uh, Angie James, and I'm the bass player. I'm Lance, and I play drums. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> now, that we, now that we all know each other. <laughs> and I'm Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And, um... Talk about this new CD y'all got coming out. Yeah, you want to talk about it? Yeah, we're going to be releasing it February 5th and uh, at BFE Rock Low. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome. We've been waiting for this this day to come out just because, you know, we put our heart and soul into writing this music. So I'm really stoked. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, uh, it's, been a, it's been a bit of a long road, you know, since we started writing the songs last year, and, you know, it's, it's only an EP, so it's going to have four tracks on it, it's not like a full-length album or anything, but uh, we went in with Stephen Bogle, who, uh, ex-guitar player and all that from The Hunger and all that, so he's an amazing guy, really good at what he does, and he helped us bring the songs to life, you know, on the recordings, and we think it sounds amazing, and we're just really ready to get it out to everybody. Uh, like he said, we'll be releasing it February 5th at BFE, that's the release party, and you can get a couple physical copies, but it actually comes out online via iTunes and all that kind of stuff, you know, on the 9th. Tuesday following. Okay, so, great. Yeah, so we're just really excited to get it out there, and we have fun playing the music, and we have fun listening to it and writing it, so we hope everybody else enjoys it as much as we do. I'm sure they will. So, um, what inspires your music, your writing? Well, I think that's probably different for each one of us. I mean, for me personally, it's just personal life experience, things I've been through, you know, uh, whether it be bad situations or, or good situations, you know, either either or I can take from each one, you know, relationships, friendships, any kind of thing that goes on in my life, I take from personal things and whenever I write music and even himself, I think, kind of. The yeah, I'm, I'm the same way in most parts. Um, what really gets me going, like, create, you know, with my creativity and stuff like that is the success of my idols. You know, whenever I watch, like, videos of David, uh, Dave Grohl or, um, uh, you know, Rush or Pink Floyd, Dave Gilmore, all them, you know, I look at it, I'm like, ah, I want, I want to do that, you know, I want that, so I go in and I write and I do my best to kind of give it my all, you know, so. What about you guys? I mean, what inspires me, or influences, or what inspires me? Sure, both. Both? I mean, Tasty Grooves inspire me, but probably <laughs> Boots. Boobs, yeah. Boobs inspire me a lot. Boobs. 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 <laughs> That's probably my main inspiration. If we're being honest. Life. It's really, it's really, it's all for the titties. All of it. I've just always loved music and my live stage performance yeah, all my true. life. I mean, that's kind of the part I live for. Yeah. So, I love so I seen you had a new video that came out, uh, I believe yesterday, right? Yeah, actually. It was for our song to be the first one on the EP. Uh, typically, we like to kick off our shows with it, a real high-energy song called All You've Ever Known. Um, our buddy Blake Ralston of Out of Mind Imaginations, he's an amazing photographer and videographer and all that, he uh, happened to do our video for The Chase, the single we released last year, and he had a bunch of like leftover footage and all this kind of stuff. You know, it's not like an official music video, but we were like, we're going to release this song, and we were talking to him about it, and he happened to just throw a video together for us. And was like, what do you guys think about this? And it was pretty cool, so we decided, yeah, we'll put it out there when we put the song out, you know, and just happened to come together really nicely, you know, it's just a fun little behind the scenes thing, you know, not, I maybe mean, there's some action shots of us playing here and there, you know, but a lot of it's like, you know, you're seeing us hanging out or talking, you know, and, you know, being at practices and stuff like that, so it's just a little more personal, you know, so just right. a little behind the scenes extra footage that we put together, and it's just a little fun video, so, yeah. It's actually really cool, shout out to Blake, that was an awesome yeah, video shout out put to together, Blake. I think he did it in like a night and a half, too. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. yeah. The night we were talking to him, because it was like Saturday or something, and we were talking to him about the, you know, releasing the song coming up this week, and he, and he was like, Oh, you know, that's pretty cool. And he was all, you know, hyped up about it, just like we were. And then the next day, he sends us over this video, and he's like, hey, check this out. And we're just like, what? You know, yeah. like, that dude, he's, he's something else, man. It's like nobody like him, and we love that guy to death, man. Like I said, you can find him on Facebook and all that, Out of Mind Imaginations. His name's Blake Ralston. Amazing dude, really down to earth, cool guy, does great work. So. so who do you think, what are your major influences? Mine, uh, it ranges from the 80s. I'm a huge White Snake fan. I love David Coverdale, um, but you know, getting into the '90s, of course, you know, <laughs> right. you, know, uh, you know, Guns N' Roses and the grunge era. After that, uh, like uh, Alice in Chains, 
uh, stuff like that. Like and Nirvana. Yeah, you can Kendrick definitely Lamar, hear it in my voice. And then, you know, modern day, I like 30 Seconds to Mars, Foo Fighters, stuff like that. So, uh, and Blue October, that's one of them I know for sure, lyric-wise, you know. But I know they have completely different influences, and I think that's what really complements the band. Yeah, like I love a lot of the same stuff with the Katy Perry bands, the '90s bands, all that stuff. But I right. have my main <coughs> passion is like uh, more like early 2000s, like the emo pop punk bands. I love that stuff. The lyrics to me are just so phenomenal. They have the songs that catch you, they stick with you, you know, and something you can sing along to and really relate to. And I really like that a lot. Bands like Taking Back Sunday and Brand New and stuff like that. I love those bands. So for me personally, that's where my influences lie. I think you can hear that in our music. The little pop yeah. influences with the old school rock kind of sound, you know. And, I'm pretty much influenced by everything. I mean, <clears throat> I'm really big into pop music because I like the the dance type bass lines. Yeah. They, yeah. they always right. they translate to any kind of music. But I'm also a really big Rob Zombie fan, so that has influenced myself a lot as well. Everybody's looking at me. <laughs> You're I'm, kind of, I'm kind of a metalhead stepchild of the band. He's like, well, I'm also influenced by titties. <laughs> titties, you know, and beer. Yeah, bad and, decisions. Uh, bad decisions, <laughs> things like that. But you know, I, yeah, I've grown up listening to a lot of prog metal and, and you know, everything. I mean, there's not really a style of music that I don't like. Uh, a secret a lot of people don't know about me is that after most practices, when I drive home, I listen to classical music. Like all the way home, it's about an hour drive you from the practice rooms to my house. You never told me that. That's you know, hey man, yeah, you tell the awesome, world man. before you tell us. <laughs> yeah. Really, you tell the world I'm before the train you tell right us. Here, <laughs> but I do. I'll sit there and I'll just jam classical music all the way home just to kind of decompress my head. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm not the only one. Hey, Look, I used you used see, to do I love classical, man. There there is. Is. <laughs> Sometimes you got to give a break on your ear. Yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of stuff like that. But I mean, I guess. You know, if I had a direct influence right now in my life, I'd probably have to say Matt Halpern. That guy is a ridiculous drummer. He's insane. Every time I watch him, I just want to throw my sticks in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing pretty good. It's all right. But yeah. If wow. he hears this, shout out to Matt. I Drum lessons. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's, uh, where are you guys going after this? Are you touring, or what's going on? Taking over the world. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Yeah. To the top. That's where we're going. Yeah, to the top. That's the plan. But yeah, we'd like to get on the road and everything and start touring here really soon. You know, it's pretty much just get this music out there to people yeah. where they can listen to it and then just start <clears throat> pushing it out there to everybody. So that's the plan. Get on the road as soon as possible. So after Friday at BFE, where are you going to be after that? Do you have any um, schedule? The following, we actually just got a show booked with uh, our friends in Rocket Queen. They've been on tour with Scott Stapp from Creed for the past like month or so. They've been out there for a while playing sold out shows every night. It's Seems great to have. They've been having a good time out there, and yeah. they're coming back in off the tour, and they'll be here next. I think it's next Saturday, the 13th. Yeah, over at the 19th hole, we'll be playing with them there. They asked us to come, you know, close up the show for them. We were more than happy to do it. Uh, we played with them there before, and it was a fun time. So we're gonna be playing next Saturday, the 13th, with them at the 19th hole, and then we'll be over at Acadia on the 26th. So for the rest of the month, and then March 25th we'll be at BFP with State Meeting. So Sometime right in March, March 11th, too, you'll be in Louisiana, huh? Yes, yeah. that just happened, too. March 11th, we're going to be oh, in Louisiana. Right. We're going to be in LA for their yeah. CD release we're party. We're looking so. forward to that. Ian here is from Louisiana, so. Oh, the other one. Oh, it's, uh, oh, what's a band that, oh, I, they're going to kill me because I forgot their name. The other LA? The other LA. <laughs> I just said it. I've been here over you. I couldn't hear him over you. Yeah, I couldn't hear him over you. Yeah, those yeah. guys are having their CD release that night, yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the same night, you, you guys? No, 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 no it's March 11th. Oh. Yeah. We're going to be in Louisiana with them. Where in Louisiana? It's uh, uh, Lafayette, Lafayette, Beaumont, isn't it? Lafayette. 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 Oh, Lafayette. Okay. Beaumont? Are you close there? I know. Yeah, but it's close to Look, I've only been in the band a week. I already know they've got scheduled better than you do. We've been so wrapped up, man, on SDP. We've got to be ready to go, you know, and... We've been grinding it out, you know, so I'm sorry. It's really stressful when you have a lot of to the band. Yeah, yeah no <laughs> sorry. Right? Not a lot of sleep lately and all that, but, you know, we're trying to keep up with everything going. But, yeah, so those are the shows we have. The 5th at BFA, we have the uh, 13th at the 19th Hall with Rock and Queen. And our friends in Underage, they're a band of a bunch of kids, actually. I oh, mentioned yeah, this earlier. They're, yeah, they're a great band, really cool kids. They're going to be opening up the show. So I think the youngest member of the band, maybe like nine or seven. No way! Yeah, yeah. Right. And the oldest member is probably not any older than 18. Like, they sound 
better than half the bands in the U.S. Yeah, really? they're great. They're, they're wow. great bands, dude. They're awesome. And then, like I said, the 26th will be at Acadia with our friends at Hindsight and Low Gear and all those guys. And uh, then the 11th and 25th of March, we're going to be in Louisiana and then at BFP with Saving Able. So that's what we have on the plate right now. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> sounds like, yeah, I think you've taken over the world. And then right after that, that's right. <laughs> so take over Houston first and then the world. Yeah, Houston, Texas, <laughs> and then the rest of the world. As it were. You can get past Texas, you got the rest of the world in the back. Yeah, pretty much. Texas is a world on its own. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, like Nick said, we, we have been putting countless hours. I think we practiced like seven hours yesterday or six hours, something like that. Yeah, we've been And then the six four, hours before yeah. that. Every night, we've been in here every night, just working on it, trying to make everything come together real smooth, so, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, for all you other drummers out there, that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cancel practice every week and not show up and expect to have a good show. <laughs> You've got to practice. Yes. And we've been doing a lot of that. So put week. in the hours and we hope it shows this Friday at BFB. We hope everybody well, has I'll a Well, I'll be time. there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Look yeah. I'll be there too, apparently. Yeah, I think that I make an appearance. I'm not sure. We're still working it out with still the working it out. Yeah, I still, so. yeah. <laughs> definitely. I'll be there, but it costs extra for the bells. Oh, no cowbell? Okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody got that joke. I'll be there with bells. I'm like, you got it. <laughs> you want to play a song? Uncomfortable silence. Yeah, you yeah, got it. Right. Are we going to play some songs? Do yeah. I have to jam one for you? Yes. Yeah. I hope you guys don't mind it being loud as fuck. Yes.